Hi, welcome back to Grow New Plants. So today I'm going to do an update on the fig trees. The fig trees were planted one day shy of four weeks ago. So I just looked it up before I started filming this. So almost exactly four weeks. And when I uncover these things, you're going to see why I'm going to go ahead and move some of them up to bigger pots. I don't think I'm going to move all of them up, but I'm going to move some. So I'm going to move the camera in a little bit closer and then we'll take a look at what we got so far. Okay, so I came out and looked at these things. I've been looking at them, check, checking them every couple days or so. And this sucker right here, I opened it up and this thing has a limb that's grown sideways now because it's grown so high up and it's pushing the dome over. So some of these are rooted well enough to move up. Some of them are not rooted at all yet and some of them are still need to stay in there a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to root up the ones or go ahead and pot up the ones that are ready to go. I'll leave the other ones in here for a while. So I just wanted to show you that real quick, show you how well they're doing. So to start out with, we're going to look at these that we put in the one gallon pots. Okay, so this one here is one of the Malta Blacks and it's 5.3. That's what a, so it's been like I said, a day short of uh, four weeks on these. So this one, literally, I don't want to pull too hard on it. And this is one that was done in the, uh, the yeah, this one was done in the regular soil, in the pot up soil, which is the peat moss, peat moss and bark mulch mix. So it rooted just fine in that. So well, here's another one. It's got some new growth on it. I can tell it's rooted. It's not rooted as well as that one. And here's another one that's in the bark mulch. And I'll tell you what, we'll just go ahead and take a look at it. So it's got some real little roots on it. Nothing big yet. I'll probably end up breaking those off. But so this one needs to stay a little bit longer. So I'll keep this one in the shade. These here, I'm going to go ahead and move out into the regular yard. And here's one here that just doesn't really look like it's doing anything. That's a Nevo 600. This was a Nevo 600 here that rooted. This was a Nevo 600 that rooted. This one is in the peat moss that was not domed and it's got some buds on it. It's got a little bitty bud right there. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Really tiny small bud right there. So this is probably going to be okay. It's just a little behind the others. Uh, this one's in the regular starter mix too. Doesn't feel like it has any roots. Actually, this is in the bark mulch, but it's got some new shoots coming out, so it's going to do fine. This one is in the starter mix here. It's got some new leaves going out. Pretty good root system. That one I'm going to go ahead. So these, these three I'm going to go ahead and put in the sun. These four or these three so far. That one, that's a Malta Black there too. That was another Nevo 600. So that one can go, and I feel relatively sure this one's rooted pretty good. You know, that one's rooted really nice and solid too. And that's another Malta Black. So these three here, I'm gonna put back in the shade. These here, I'm gonna move uh, out into the sun and I'll watch them really close. It's been really rainy here and overcast, so the sun has not been extremely bright or hot. So we'll see how these do. I'll watch them real close. If they look like they're starting to wilt, I'll move them back in the shade for a little while. I'm going to get ready and we're going to pull some of these out and see what they look like. So this sucker right here has got quite a bit of growth on it. So I don't know, the thing is the soil is really wet, so I don't know how much of the soil is going to pull out together. So I don't want to break that other soil loose. You see it's really, honestly, it's not as big of a root system. It's all kind of to one side. It's not as big of a root system as I thought it would have but it's plenty sufficient for it to survive in these other pots. So I'm gonna take this one and I got some extra soil here and I already put like about a half a pot in these. So I just wanna drop it down in here so I can plant it back at the same depth that it was at and then I'm just gonna fill in. So I'm gonna leave that soil attached on that one side. I'll kind of push down around the edges good just to get it firm. And then I will water that in good. And same thing, I'm going to put these in the sun now 
and we'll see how they do. So it's got, this is gonna be a nice plant because it's got, it's got a branch came out here, one here, and one here at the top. So it's already got three nice branches coming out. So that's gonna make a nice plant. So let's take this big one here. This is the one with that huge limb on the top. So we'll see what it looks like. Pull it out. This one's coming out all together. So that one pretty much held the soil together. So it's got roots all the way around it. It almost completely filled out that pot. And this is one that had the, that extra shoot on it. I don't know if you remember that from the first video. It had that extra shoot on it, but it stayed in there. So I'm going to plant this one a little bit higher than I would. I want to plant it at this level here where this shoot's not buried under the ground. So we're going to take it, get it about that same height. Start filling in around it. So that's really good, man. That's, that's four weeks to come up with that big of a root system. That's pretty good. So I've kind of come to a conclusion with plants. There's, there's all kinds of methods and theories and all this stuff. But my theory that I'm kind of starting to come, well, my conclusion that I'm starting to come to with a lot of these things is that the plants just want to be plants. Give them what they need, give them some water, give them some moisture, give them decent soil and a little bit of fertilizer, and they'll take care of everything else for you. I don't think they're near as sensitive as what we make them out to be. So this one right here, it's got this shoot here coming out. It's got a shoot here. It's got this big shoot on the top, and then it's got another shoot over here. So this one's already gonna have four nice branches coming out. So this is gonna turn out to a real nice plant too. And this one was a Basilica Black. The first one we did was a, oh no, I lost my tag on that one. Oh, here it is, still in the pot. Gotta make sure I get those. That's also another Basilica Black. So the Basilica Blacks did really well. Now, one thing to take note of too, is both of these were big fat cuttings too. They were like index finger size almost. So I'm gonna set these off to the side here and we'll plant up a couple more of them. Uh, what do we got here? This is gonna be another Basilica Black probably. No, this is a, a Batoglia. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. So this is a different variety, but it is a big fat one. And that's really nice full roots all the way around too. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. I feel pretty confident these will survive. Just give them some water, let them do what they wanna do, and I think they will survive back out into the sun. Like I said, I'll, I'll watch them real close if they, if they uh, look like they're wilting or anything and I'll give them some shade and kind of work them out into the sun gradually. So this one's got, uh, it only came out with two branches, one here and one here, but I think it's still gonna make a nice tree. And they'll branch out again, and I'll do some pruning on them once they kind of start growing up. And we'll start, now I'll do another video on that too as they get older, we'll start working on shaping them. So that is the Batoglia. If anybody knows how to say that, send me a pronunciation thing on the website. And let's do, let's do one more out of here. Let's see what we got. So here's another one over here that's, uh, let's just pull on some of these, okay? That one's rooted pretty well. That one doesn't feel like it's rooted at all and it's kind of withered up. This one's kind of withered up too. So is that one. That one's got some new growth on it. Doesn't feel like it's rooted yet. That one's got a few roots on it, I can tell. That one doesn't look good. That one's actually rooted pretty good but it hadn't put any new growth out yet. That one's probably got a few roots, probably nothing. That one's actually rooted pretty good, but it doesn't have much growth. I'm gonna wait on it. This one feels pretty good. This one feels pretty good. This one's still got green on it, so it'll probably be all right. And that one's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take one more out of this tray. <laughs> Not much new growth, but a lot of roots on that sucker. And that is a uh, Atriano. So these things, I don't think it's really mattering which variety we put in here. 
they all seem to be uh, I don't think the variety is making much difference is what I'm saying it's just a kind of a smorgasbord of which ones are root and which ones aren't so and we got plenty of time I mean it's only been four weeks and I would say I would start worrying if they hadn't done anything in six weeks but it's only been four weeks so getting some of them ready to up pot at six weeks I'm really tickled with so that one we'll put our tag back in that one so let's go ahead and we'll get a couple more out of this other tray and then we'll uh we'll i'll finish the rest of these off camera the ones i'm going to pot up but we'll get one or two more out of that tray there let's see what we got in here okay i feel pretty good about the vast majority of these there's a couple here that look like they might not have made it that are kind of withered up it's one two three that one doesn't look very good but it feels like it's got roots so it may come along that one actually feels like it has roots too uh that one doesn't feel like it has anything but i'm going to leave them in there it doesn't hurt to leave them in there a little bit longer and see what they do so let's go with this one right here this is the lsu purple so we'll pull that one out look at that completely held the root ball together nice 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 root system all growing down see what these root maker pots do too see there's no circling of these roots they grow out and then the tips hit the ends the air in those pots it kills the tips out and then they start branching out makes really really nice root systems so let's go ahead and put that one take a little dirt out of that one that one's so big I'll do one more on camera and then I'll pot the rest of them up okay let's put that one back that was the LSU purple put that one down here we'll do one more and then I'll do the rest of these off camera let's see if we get something different that's another LSU purple that's the LSU purple all the LSU purples look like they did really well uh, let's see here's a, a Negrata we haven't done one of those in a Basilica black let's do the let's do this one here actually that doesn't feel like it's really well rooted yet it's you tell it's rooted but there's not a lot of pull that one that root broke loose on that one I just kind of screwed that one up we'll do this one now that's an LSU purple too well it is fine we'll do one more LSU purple tore a leaf off of that one so that one's got roots they're not as as long and deep yet but that's still plenty for this thing to survive we'll start out in this pot here put it down there okay so let's see what we got now I'll go ahead and sit these down there's a few more of these I'm going to go ahead and pot up but I want to just go ahead and get the update and let you see what these things can do so we got uh, oh and I lost my tag on that when I left it in the pot again where is that pot yeah that was another LSU purple I'll make sure I keep these things tagged so there's one two three four five six that we got potted up put the big ones up front where you can see them so that's six out of them and then I had another four I think five of the uh, ones that were already in the one gallon containers that I'm going to go ahead and sit out in the sun and then there's probably another four or five in there that I'm going to go ahead and pot up now and then the others I'll probably leave for another couple weeks and then get those potted up so anyway so my little experiment with different types of containers domed and not domed basically they all did pretty well I'd say that there wasn't a whole lot of difference 
any way that I did it. But the, the ones that thrived the most, of course, were the ones that were domed. And I would say this one, this one, this one. Well, these three here are really thick. This one's kind of a medium thickness. This one's a medium thickness. And this one right here is actually pretty skinny and it did great too. So the size of the cuttings, I don't know that it's making a tremendous amount of difference. The ones that were most vigorous, of course, were the big fat ones. They did the best, but anyway, I appreciate you watching. I'll do another update on these uh, when I get them all planted up and just kind of show you the whole crop. But I just wanted to get this out and let you take a look at them. I really appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe. If you haven't seen the other video when I potted these up or when I stuck them in the first place, I'll put a link to that up there at the top so you can watch that. I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.